begin uh, as to how to publish your plugin on WordPress at wordpress.org. Okay. So first thing, you don't have to worry about the notes and everything because uh, I'll be putting a link to uh, my Git repository where you can find all of these notes and links. So that's not a problem. Uh, first thing is that uh, you need to go ahead and submit your plugin at this address. So let's click on that. So it's plugins developers add. Okay. And then first, obviously, it asks you to log in. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Okay, and all you have to do then is that you can see that there are 12 plugins awaiting review. Just select a zipped file, just go to your um, directory, go to WordPress plugins, and just select any of the plugins that you want to upload. And then you can click on open, and then you can just upload it over here. Okay, so that's how you upload your plugin. And then Generally, these days they go ahead and uh, approve the plugin within uh, three four hours in case if the plugin is small, but sometimes it could take as long as two to three days as well. In my cases, in both of my plugins, it just took uh, three to four hours. So, good job by WordPress guys who look into uh, approving the plugin. So, I quite like that. Okay, so this is the email that I've received from them that congratulations, uh, your plugin hosting request has been approved by the way this is my plugin online that I'm going to upload now and this plugin is used for um, uh, displaying the current location of the user who comes to your site okay you can get to know the city the state um, as well as the entire address and locality etc uh, so you can go and check it out all right okay so this is the link basically uh, if I click on it uh, it takes me to this link and this is basically an SVN repository uh, it is just like git uh, SVN is basically a, a subversion uh, so it's a revision control system just like git so this is where WordPress stores all of the uh, repositories for the um, plugins okay so this is the link for my repository. This is the space I've got for myself. You can see there are different folders. I can increase increase the font. So you've got the trunk. Trunk is where all the file, main files will go, or like the admin folder. You know the uh, the main file of your plugin, the style.css, and all all possible files will go over here that are required for your plugin to function. Then you have the uh, tags folder. This is basically where your um, tag system goes in like which version of the plugin you're using and, and then when you're updating the next version then you need to tag it over here so currently there's nothing because it's empty I haven't uploaded anything uh, then you have the assets okay inside of the assets you have the screenshot dot uh, png then you have the banner dot png then you have the uh, icon dot png so all of the uh, basically the images uh, file that are required for banner screenshot icon etc go over here okay perfect so first thing you need to do is obviously read the add me uh, sorry add the readme file uh, readme.txt file into your uh, plugin that's extremely important so you can go into this link and it explains to you what is the standard so you can see this is the readme file okay I can show that to you on my system it will be much clearer so you can see that you have the contributor, the tags uh, required at least, uh, and then tested up to which which version, stable tags required, license, etc. This is basically a small information about what your plugin does. This is a description of the plugin. Then you've got the demo videos that go over here. This is the YouTube, and then this is the link for that video. This is the date when uh, you know uh, you're gonna go ahead and upload that plugin uh, or you have submitted that plugin then installation procedure so all of the information goes over here then you have the FAQ sections so all of the information goes over here then you have the screenshot etc okay uh, so just to tell you how a plugin structure looks I'm sure you already know about that I don't have to explain that to you because this tutorial is not all about that but um, you can see this is my plugin name then you've got the vendor directory and inside of which we have got the JS directory and then main JS file 
and then you um, you can skip all of this these files uh, but uh, for now but uh, yes later on I'll be explaining to you this banner dot uh, png icon dot png and screenshot dot png so these are basically going to be used in your plugin we are not going to put these png files into the asset uh, into the uh, trunk directory but we'll be putting these in the assets directory of the SPN repository which is there online over here so we'll put every, uh, everything in the assets uh, in terms of the banner screenshot and the icon etc so screenshot basically go in the assets folder as I explained to you earlier uh, and the file name should be screenshot-1.php screenshot uh, screenshot-2.png how this works basically is if you go over here if you're going to be writing the description of the first screenshot this number one is related to uh, this number that you mentioned over here so if this this screenshot description that you is the first point then you should put screenshot-1.png then for the second one similarly like this for second one you put screenshot dash two dot png so this will refer to the point uh, point number two description this screenshot and this screenshot will refer to the point number one description now it comes to creating banners banners is basically uh, just show that to you if I go to one of my existing plugins called sage slider so you can see this is the banner basically this is the icon okay and then you have some screenshot as well so you can see this is the screenshot so this is where the screenshot will go this is where the icon will go and this is where the banner will go okay so the different sizes preset sizes that you can use um, you can use a larger size than this as well but I prefer to use a 772 point uh, sorry into 250 size and this is the size defined on the WordPress site as well okay um, then it talks about creating icons uh, again icons also go in the assets folder of the SPN uh, directory online in the assets folder okay and then icons should be of these two sizes we should create two icons uh, of PNG format one is 128 into 128 and second is 256 into 256 next thing uh, it comes to uploading the uh, inside of the SPN repository uh, so in the WordPress email that I've received I have also got this link which talks about uh, detailed plugin guidelines and then the third one talks about how to use the subversion so this is what I'm interested in if you click on this link it takes you to this page and it gives you all the information how to go ahead and upload uh, your plugin uh, or you can you know how to submit your plugin online all right how to publish it so these are the four um, folders available that I've just shown that to you over here I've got access to okay so you've got the trunk the tags branches is basically uh, where you can store the branches of the plugin perhaps version that are in development or test code uh, so basically branches is where you will put all your test work development work uh, this will not be shown live this will just be for your development purposes you can keep it over there and whenever you want to put it live you can always put that in the in the um, trunk folder so trunk folder is basically for live tags are for version versioning system assets is for your banner images uh, sorry banner uh, screenshot icon etc and branches is where all the rough work goes development work goes which is not going to be live but these three one two three are going to be for live okay so you've got all the information here and uh, so we're going to just follow this basically so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into our plugin directory this is my plugin directory on terminal okay and then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create uh, a directory called my local dir. Uh, WordPress is also saying the same, so let's do that. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my local dir directory over here. Okay, next thing that they they are uh, asking us to do basically is create a local uh, SVN directory just like in git you do git init just to create a local git repository locally but that's not online similarly you create a local SVN repository using this link so this link is basically uh, 
would be I would say SVN CO CO means checkout how you have in git and then the link so this link is basically the same link which you have received over here which is this one I'm gonna increase it a little bit so you can see what's going on okay so I'm gonna go ahead and paste that and you're going to create this repository into the my local directory so you put space my local directory okay and that's what we're doing over here my local directory okay and just hit enter all right so you can see that it's created the assets branches tags trunks so it's done nothing but it's kind of you know created the same folders same directories as you have on the online repository but currently it is not online it is local okay so if you go on to the my local directory you can see that you've got assets branches tags and trunk but currently there's nothing inside of them so if I do ls r you can see there's nothing inside of them yep it's all blank so let's just clear it okay now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our uh, in fact uh, we're going to go back to our main uh, plugin directory which is this I adjust your location okay and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy uh, my main plugin file so basically what I want to do is you can see that currently you've got all of these files inside your main uh, plugin directory you want to copy all of them into the assets folder obviously you won't copy the icon and banner and you know the IHS uh, sorry uh, the um, uh, screenshot.png into the assets folder but uh, you do want to uh, copy everything else into the um, into the um, trunk directory okay so as you already know that you've just seen that my in we have our trunk directory here inside of my local directory so I want to copy everything um, all the files from here into my uh, my local directory trunk folder okay except the uh, banner icon and the screenshot.png so let's do that so basically I'm just gonna write some command for that so I'll say copy and let's copy the main plugin file so I have the main plugin file uh, is the IHS geolocation.php and I'm gonna copy that into my local directory and then I'm gonna go into the trunk folder okay so the trunk folder okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and copy that there so it's been copied so if you now check the my local directory trunk you can see that file is there so similarly I need to copy all of these files so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I'll copy the style.css style.css okay that's copied what else is there I've got custom functions so I'm gonna copy the custom functions as well custom functions.php copy it there as well what else is there? Um, got the style is this. Okay, we've got the readme.txt. So copy the readme.txt. So readme.txt. Okay, so we could copy it all of that. I think the last thing what is left is the vendor directory okay so I'll, obviously I'll have to go inside the my local directory and if you check you've got inside of the trunk folder and if you check you've got all of those files there obviously and I, and now I need to create a folder called vendor so I'm gonna say mkdir vendor and inside of vendor I also want to create a JS folder because that's what I have in my plugin you can see this yeah so I'm going to go into vendor 
I'm going to create a directory mkdir and that's the name of the file. Okay, that's the JS folder. Perfect. I'm going to come back to my main plugin directory. Let's clear it out. Okay, now I want to copy uh, basically the main.js. Okay, so I would say trunk, uh, then vendor, then JS. I want to copy inside of the JS folder, and the name of the file that I want to copy is basically inside of the vendor directory, inside of the JS folder, and that's main.js. Okay, so it's copied. All right, now let's just confirm back that we've actually got everything there. Okay, so we'll go into, not go into, but just do an ls to see if it's there or not. It's there. Okay, cool. So, so far what we've done is uh, we've actually gone ahead and uh, copied the um, main files, uh, you know, our PHP, JavaScript, and style.css into uh, the uh, trunk directory. Okay, this is where all of the files reside. And in the next video, we're going to learn how to uh, move the um, screenshot.png and uh, the banner and the icon.png into the assets folder. Okay, because I don't want to make the video too long. All right, see you guys.